Hey everybody, Joe Carlson with Hummingbird. We're here on the day that Hummingbird has released their Mega Live Imaging Target Lock. I've had it on my boat for about three weeks now. It's awesome. Can't wait to get out there and show you how everything on this boat works. So they've integrated multiple ways to run this new system. In a nutshell, what it does is it, it, it makes your live separate from your trolling motor. So in the past, everybody had to mount their, their live transducers right to the trolling motor. So whatever direction your trolling motor was looking was the only direction your live could look. This separates that from the live so I can use my Minn Kota Ultrex in spot lock mode and I can spot lock this way and I can look at whatever I wanna look at with my live over this way. But the really cool thing that this does with the target lock is if I'm, I'm on the shores of Lake Vermilion here right now and there's lots of big boulders and things out in the middle, I can lock on to a boulder and spot lock next to it and cast it or I can drive all the way around it and my Mega Live will always point at that boulder. That's the big difference. I don't have to touch it. I don't have to do anything. It'll always be on my screen with my Mega Live. So target lock locks onto a target and you can swing all the way around and see it all the time. There's also Minn Kota steer where it picks up the same angle as your trolling motor. When you turn your trolling motor, it'll turn right along with it, which is kind of what you're used to right now, probably with your live. And then there's also the sweep mode, which is 120 degrees of angle that it sweeps back and forth just continually. So if you're searching a big flat, or something along those lines, you can drive along and look and look and look until you find what you want. Like everything else with Johnson Outdoors, we have the One Boat Network here, so there's lots of different ways that I can control this new piece of electronics. I have a Solix, so on the Solix only, not the Helix, but the Solix, I can turn the unit by touching here. I can change between Minn Kota, steer, sweep, target lock. I can do all that on there. Um, I do have a foot pedal as well that I can change. I can move back and forth. I can change between the different modes. This way shows up on my screen in the corner what I'm doing. Um, there is a remote as well if you're more used to using a remote for that sort of thing. So there's lots of different options. It's the One Boat Network, so we're all pretty used to that. So that's a, an overview of everything that it does. And so let's get this thing put in the water and we can show you what it does in the water as well. So we're out here on the water now, and I put my Minn Kota Ultrex in the water to spot lock so that, like, like normal, I'm standing on a dock out here, the Ultrex just does whatever it needs to do. Um, but I've lined up on a green channel buoy here. We're gonna look at the chain on my live. We're gonna find it and look at it. It's about 40 feet away. The reason we're using that, it could be a boulder or a tree or whatever it is you want to be fishing in the water, obviously, but this makes for a nice visual representation so you can see how this all works. So, so my, my trolling motor is doing this thing. It's moving left, right, whatever it needs to do to keep where we're at. So I am gonna just turn my unit until I get right and dial it in real close here. There it is, right on my screen. And yeah, it's 41 feet out there. And I'm gonna push the target lock. So now the target lock is pointing straight at the, the chain on that channel marker. I can see it. It's at 40 feet right on my uh, Solix 15 here. And now I can move, go forward. I can still see the, still see the chain, still see the chain. I'm a little closer to it now. 32 feet, but it's still on here because the target lock is moving, pointing right at it no matter what I do with the boat. I move off to the left, I can still see the chain. Go all the way around the chain and the target lock just follows the thing right where I want it to be. Still see the chain. I can still see the chain. About 25 feet away now. The target lock is pointing right at, there's an arrow on top, little visual representation. I'm about 18 feet away from it the way it says. So I've gone 180 degrees around this thing now and the target lock is still pointing right at it and I can still see the chain 
on my graph and I didn't have to touch a thing. I can be fishing, do whatever I need to do and I don't have to be glued to my Solix and I don't have to be pointing my trolling motor at the target in order to see it with my live. So that's target lock. I can also hit the little Minn Kota emblem on here and whichever way my trolling motor is pointing is the way that my live do will point, which is what you're kind of used to before this product. The sweep mode, so I've got this little point coming off of this island, obviously. So now I'm sweeping back and forth 120 degrees to see if my fish are off to this side or that side, or if there's one big boulder over here. And then the last mode is straight ahead. So my live deucer is pointing straight ahead, regardless of the position of my trolling motor. So that's, in a nutshell, what can be done here. The One Boat Network, I can see all of this stuff on the Solix at my console. The same stuff that I can see on my Solix 15 at my dash, I can run all of the different things. The Solix is pretty nice because you have the roll of buttons across the, butt, off, across the bottom. You can do the touch screen thing, which is my preference here. Um, and I ran you through all the options in five minutes. It was pretty, it's pretty simple stuff. It's very intuitive. Um, and it's hands-free. It's made to be so you can fish and not have to worry about touching a bunch of stuff.